Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create an income and expense dashboard in Google Sheets. This is a ready to use template and you can use it for your personal purpose or the office purpose. I will explain you step by step how we can create this in Google Sheets. In this dashboard, first page is for the dashboard wherein we are showing the total income total expenses, then we are showing the percentage in comparison of the income. Now, then we are showing this income category chart wherein we are showing the income category wise amount of the income. Similarly, this chart is the expense category wise and we are showing the expense category wise amount of expense. This is the daily trend for income and expense. So here you can see the red slice is for expense and this green slice is for income now i will show you the data wherein you have to input the data so these are two small tables wherein you have to enter the data for income and this red one is for expense we have created a support sheet to create these charts so i will show you how you can create this from the scratch so let's watch this video till the end we can start now First of all, let's go to the file and add a new spreadsheet and we'll create the data here. So let's rename this as data and here we will create two tables first for income. So for income, we'll take date, then category of the income and then amount. So this is for income. We can just select these three and use merge cells income now let's select this range let's say till here then align this center and the middle we can make this slightly bigger and this one this range slightly smaller and now go to the border and take some border let's say this light green color all border and here we can fill some dark green color let's say this one and font as white and make this bold go to the view so uncheck the grid lines from here this header we will make slightly lighter green let's say this one take the font white and make this bold here also we will change the color so we will select this range and we will take little lighter green let's say this one or we can take this one also then we can change the border color so let's select it once again and take some other color for the border let's say this one all so this is visible properly because we will enter here date so we will select this range right click and go to the drop down select here is valid date and done so now if you double click this calendar will appear and you can enter some data here in the category you can make it slightly bigger you can make the category of the income like salary bonus or any other thing and here you can enter the amount let us copy this and paste this here for the expense one and just rename it for expense so the format will remain same we will just change the color so let's take this dark red this one and here let's take little lighter red and here just select this range and fill let's say this color and now select this range and we will take some different water color in the red format let's say this one all we will copy this data for now just copy and we will paste this here as value and similarly here also copy and paste it here all right so this is the data which we have pasted and if you want to create some header here you can select this range use merge and take some background color let's say i'm taking this one and here you can put input data align this center and middle you can change the font color let's take the arial around it around 25 and font white 
okay so this is our input data now let's create a new sheet and we will rename this as dashboard we will create the dashboard like we have created here so first we will create this top header okay so to create that what i will do i will select the these two rows till let's say column m or n and use merge cells fill some darker color let's say i'm taking this one and uh, font take the white and just type here income and expense dashboard in google sheet just align this center and middle font arial rounded size around 22 go to the view and so uncheck the grid lines now we will create this section first total income and here total expense so what i will do i'll select this area so what i'll do first i'll reduce the column width of the first column which is column a and then i will select let's say this area till here use merge cells and here we will fill some green color darker this one then we will select let's say this range use merge cells we will fill little lighter green this one all right so let's put here total total income now align this center middle font white font name arial rounded size around 16 and here we will use the formula as sum of go to the data and we will take the sum of column d which is the sum of income so we are getting this amount here as currency and align this center and middle and change the font arial rounded and take a size around 30 and font color let's take white okay you can reduce the decimal places if you want and make it slightly again bigger now we can copy this and let's make this column e slight and rename it as total expense here we are taking the sum of column h so you can see the column h is the expense which is automatically appearing here now we will just change the color according to the expense so we will take this dark red this one and here we will take little lighter red let's say this one all right now the next thing we will create this expense percentage and the top income category and the top expense category to do that first we need to create the support sheet so let's add a new sheet and rename it as support okay here we will do few things so let's create here income and expense total income will be sum of this column d and expense will be sum of column h this one now to get the expense percentage we can use the formula total expense divided by total income and we can convert this into the percentage format reduce the decimal place and we will take here one minus the percentage of expenses that is 35 so we will create the chart using this value all right friends now let us create quickly the chart so select this range go to the insert insert a chart so this pie chart is appearing by default let's change it to the donut and uh, go to the customize go to the pie chart first and donut whole size take around 80 make it slightly smaller like this double click on the title of the chart and we will just resize it take around 12 or 14 align this center bold and take the font color black all right now go to the legend and here legend take at bottom so 
so we can remove this lesion we don't require it and uh, we can see this is 65 percent this part is basically the expense percentage so we can take it in the red color so let's take this color and the other part should be transparent so we will take here none and then go to the pie chart and the border we will take this color of the border okay now let's take the slice 2 as white color rather than none so this transparent area will appear like this now let us copy this chart from here come to the dashboard and you can keep the chart here like this now let's go to the support again and we can delete this now select this range go to the insert and insert a chart and change it to the scorecard chart this one so we can see the percentage here just reduce the size and just go to the customize key value take the color as red this one now copy this and come to the dashboard paste that here we will keep this here in the center reduce the size just double click and customize key value and we will not take the and in the chart style we will not take the border so let's take the chart border as none and close this now here select this cell three cells and merge them and just fill here this dark green color and type here top income category and align this and take the font color white make this bold here just select these two first and use merge cells and fill here some green color let's say this one and here select these two and merge and fill here this lighter color all right same thing we can repeat here also just copy and paste here this will be for expense category now we will fill here the values i will show you but before that we will move to the support sheet and we will delete this from here and we will use some formula so first let's create it for the income so i'm using here income and the amount let's take here the income category first And the amount so we will use here the unique income category I will use here unique function select the data of the category of income till the end and just enter so we are getting here unique category we will use here sum if function sum if or sum ifs whatever you want go to the data sum range will be column D okay you can see it here comma the criteria one will be this range comma come to the support sheet and just click here and just enter so we can see the amount is appearing here you can just convert this to the currency without decimal if you want to put some border you can just go here and take some green color border align this and here you can take some green color font green color background also Go to the view and remove the grid lines from here now let's copy this and paste that here and uh, this time we will change the formula for unique we will take from column g and uh, sum if of column h so let's use here column g and here use the sum of of column h and use here column g in the category of expense just fill this down all right so this is working you can format this here also now you can take this color as red 
this one and border also red all right now we will create the chart for these two first so select this range go to the insert insert the chart change this chart to the column chart this one and we can take the 3d chart from here and if you want to change the color you can change the color also from the series first show the data label go to the series and you can change the color from here so let's take the fill color as this green color okay so this is the income and you can put the title as income by category just align this center make this bold and text color as black now copy this chart from here and we can delete this from here come to the dashboard we can paste it here let's resize this chart and make a copy of this and just paste that here and rename it as title this will be expense y category and we can change this range this is f2 g17 here we can take the i i2 till j18 to double click i2 and j18 just enter and change the color also from the series because this is the expense we can take this color all right now to take the values here you can use more columns so let's use this merge here also okay for expense let's take the different color so let's say i'm taking this one here i'm taking this one and here i'm taking this one so what i'm going to do first i will take the largest amount so i'll use here large then i'm going to the support sheet and i will select this range i can take some extra range also comma one and just hit the enter so i'm getting the largest one amount so just uh, format it as currency align this center middle make it slightly bigger and bold now here i will use the x lookup function x lookup the search key will remain this cell comma support sheet and uh, i will search this in this range comma i want this result comma if it is not found then show this test enter so i am getting the maximum income category here middle make the font white and make it bold we can quickly copy this we can paste this here and we will change the color if you want so let's do one thing let's change the color again all right now here we will use the column j okay so let's use here column j and you can take the whole column j also if you want just enter so we are getting the maximum value here and we can use the x lookup from this cell till column j use here column i enter so we are getting this value okay so this is done now we will create a line chart also here so to do that first we will use here date then we will use here income and expense okay to get the date what i will do i'll use here b stack function first in the v stack i'll go to the data and i will select this whole range till here comma then i will select this whole range okay so this v stack will append the data and then we will use here filter function in the filter we can just copy this and use the condition this should not be blank and just enter so we are getting all the dates here these dates might not be in the sorted order so we can use here sort function 
and we can sort this by this column okay so we are getting the sorted data but if you see this is not the unique one so we can use the unique also just use here unique unique and just close the bracket so this is the unique now here in the income we will use the sum if function or sum ifs function go to the data and we will take the count of column d so we can select this column d comma the criteria range will be date comma come here and select this date and just hit the enter so we are getting all the sum of income amount again we will use the sum ifs function and go to the data sheet and select this column h comma criteria date comma support sheet and just click here enter okay but for this one we will convert into the negative one so i'll use here minus and fill this down now select this data go to the insert and insert a chart we can see this chart is appearing here change the chart type let's take the this stack column so this chart will look like this you can copy this chart from here copy come to the dashboard and paste that chart here let's make it slightly bigger in place of this blue color just double click and we can take here this green color and this red is okay legion we can move to the bottom side so let's select here position as bottom and uh, double click on the title and here we can show income and expense trend align this center take the size around 20 and font as black all right so we can remove the grid lines if you want double click here and uncheck the grid lines from here so this is done all right friends so friends that is how you can create the income and expense dashboard in google sheets friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching